Well, the big data dividend, what is that? Well, it's about the ongoing profits that are derived from data-driven applications. There's a lot of details underneath that. I don't have a lot of time to go into. But what I do have time is to talk about the bigger picture, the bigger picture that's impacting everyone in this room. And we're in the middle of one of the biggest changes in enterprise computing in decades. Now, this graphic is about the changes about computing on the enterprise, but we're, the way we handle data, process, analyze is going through a tremendous transition. 20 years from now, we'll be able to appreciate the three big aspects of that transition. So number one, it's about continuous analytics. Companies that are getting the biggest results from their data are incorporating continuous analytics into their operations. So it's not about weekly reports. It's not about periodic analysis. So what does that exactly mean? Let's talk about American Express. And the information I'll share here is, uh, was recently made public by an information management interview with two of their senior VPs. I particularly liked the article because they revealed they were using MapR in their multi-petabyte scale platform. And American Express has been on a multi-year journey to incorporate machine learning into their business and doing this for a range of applications, everything from uh, improving customer service to managing risk. For example, they now have Amex Offers. And Amex Offers is a machine learning application that provides customized offers on mobile devices to card members. And this is a big data application. It's pulling merchant data, spending history, preferences, an embedded algorithm that continually learns and improves. And it's about providing relevant offers to every card member. American Express also leverages big data to identify potential fraud. So anytime an Amex card is used throughout the world, they've got a big data platform that's used to protect the trillion dollars of annual charge volume. They make a point of sale decision within two milliseconds. So continuous analytics is powerful, but that power is fueled by the data, both the volume and the variety of the data sources. And that brings us to our second big aspect of the transition. And this is about convergence. It's about moving from dedicated applications on their own pools of data to many applications running across a single big data platform, or data ocean at scale, if you will. We've already seen leading companies move in this direction. Tech Validate recently did a study and found that 18% of MapR production customers were running 50 or more applications on a single cluster. I think that's a testament to the maturity of the platform, the multi-tenancy, the security, the workload management capabilities that are on that platform. And the benefits of speed and efficiency and business impact are hard to overestimate. So performing continuous analytics, centralizing the data is important, but the third aspect, and what EY calls operational agility, is the major force for disruption. And for the, the Ernst and Old of us in the room, EY is the new branding for one of the world's largest accounting and consulting firms. Looking back from the future, it'll be much clearer of what are today's Kodaks and Blockbusters and Blackberries that will be slow to respond, and which companies will be adopting operational agility to zoom ahead of the competition and establish dominance. I talked earlier about American Express. There are many examples today of companies that are are taking continuous analytics, incorporating it in their, in their business as a first step towards operational agility. We've got two examples today in talks later, later on. Unfortunately, you'll have to display your own agility to hear them both because they're, they're at the same time. But we have Alex Barkley from United Healthcare Group 
and he'll be talking about, about identifying fraud and waste using MapR as a payment integrity uh, processing platform and generating over 2,000% ROI. The CTO of, of Walmart, Jeremy King, will be talking about how they use big data to provide the best retail shopping experience for their customers. So when it comes to operational agility, where do you start? The best place to start is the data itself. The data can be a big enabler as well as an obstacle to agility. So let's say, for instance, you were building a, a production catalog or product catalog as part of a web application. If you chose a relational database, it would be a fairly complex data model. And you know, in this example, you've got a 32-line select statement to get a single product. Contrast that with, with JSON, which is self-describing documents that has the attributes and the embedded schema. And in this example, you can see the difference between you know, the document describing a bike versus a pedal versus a jersey. And to select a single product, requires a very simple statement. This is one of the reasons why JSON has become the de facto standard for web applications. It's also fueling a lot of the, the data formats for Internet of Things, machine-generated content and log files. And that's projected to grow to 50 billion devices by 2020. So with this amount of data, having a database to store the records, to perform real-time operations is a requirement. Now, you can take the JSON documents and take those, flatten them, put them in a NoSQL key value store, but wouldn't a database that handled native JSON support be better? And that's why we introduced the first in Hadoop document database earlier this week. So you get the advantages of a document database combined with the the scale, the reliability, the integrated analytics of our enterprise Hadoop platform. So developers have an easy way now to build scalable applications without having to worry about schema and a lot of uh, transforming and intermediate steps. So I think this qualifies as the fourth major aspect of the transition, but I'll leave it for you to decide. You can download, see the the developer preview, sample code, and experiment for yourself. Now, for many of you, you might not be at that stage. And we're all at different points in our big data journey. So part of our contribution, part of MapR's contribution to the community is to provide free on-demand training. We have separate tracks for developers, for data analysts, and for administrators each which can lead to their own separate certification. And the concept of free also extends to the resources required for some of the hands-on labs. And with our partnership with Google, we have a credit for use of the Google Cloud Platform. So let me recap. We're in the middle of the biggest change in enterprise computing. We're committed to helping you make history. So live long and prosper, and thank you.